What's up traders, Billy here again, and today I'm going to make a small video on how to make your own trade log. So I see a lot of people asking me in the comments and everybody in my chat, and I see a lot of people asking around the communities, you know, how do you guys make a trade log, uh, even if it's just a simple one on Google or Excel, and of course you can send the server to Excel as well, uh, but basically a typed out taker, contract, all this good stuff. I'm going to go through an example real quick, and then I'm going to show you how to set this up. So let's say we were in a Tesla uh, 700 call, and these are made up numbers, I'm not... I'm not going off of what's today. Uh, let's say the expiration was uh, 9-17-2021. Uh, let's say we entered it yesterday. Whoops. Let's do that. And then we exited today. Let's say we exited today. Uh, the entry cost was, uh, let's say, 600 Exit price, we'll say, was uh, 750 so it should be a 25, and it is, a $150 gain, 25%. So there you go. You have it. So that's a small, simple trade log. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, what codes to copy over. So basically, you manually you manually type all this in, you know, bolding it, whatever size you want. Um, if you want to change any of these, of course, you can change them here by the format, you know, increase by currency or percent or however you want it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just simply copy over these codes over to a new Google Sheet, and I'm going to send you guys the code in the description of this video. All right, so... Here's a new Google Sheet. So you end up going to the template gallery, click blank new. Move my other one over here so I can just take it over for you guys. And then of course, you know, type in everything. So of course you see ticker. Increase that to like a 12 or whatever, bolden it, whatever you need to do. Uh, but once you get down to the profit loss part right here, you're gonna copy over this code. Okay, you're just gonna copy it and put it right in this box. Okay, so once you get to doing multiple entries, right? Here's the last step. You're going to have to just lightly click it. So just click once, grab this arrow, wait till it's a crosshair, and then you drag. So now this whole column will be ready for me to go whenever I have more trade entries. And you can, of course, pull it down as you need to. Uh, I'll fix that code when I send it. Uh, but of course, you send it, and then you can you know, do whatever. I'll just type another contract for it so it fits it, fix itself. And you can see right here, click that, grab it by crosshair. Bam, there you go. So now you have all these ready to go whenever you need to get them ready for another... Uh, trade log, whatever, you're good to go. So as you can see, it all works out. Um, but I'll, I'll leave these codes in the bottom of the description. Again, this was a very small video, but this is a very important topic. Uh, I see a lot of people that don't have trade logs that really need them. They're very good for finding, you know, repetitive actions in your trading or finding things that you might be able to fix. You know, so if you see yourself taking too many bad three bar plays, you know, and note that too, you know, let's say this was a three bar play, you know, mark three bar play above pre-market high you know bam that's all you need you don't need to mark a bunch of crazy notes if you want to mark in there you know what was going through your head you know add that too you know um greedy should have sold earlier you know leave that you know mark that great great spelling josh but as you can see though you know this is going to be very effective to your trading for the long term so please keep this up and it's also if you for taxes if anything ever happens you have something to go off of from a base uh so there you go but i guys hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like on it